Hey everybody, it's Matt from Electric Call Wheel. We have with us the Haybike Mars. 500 watt rear hub, 48 volt, 12 and a half amp hour battery. We will install a dual battery discharge balancer kit from Electric Call Wheel with this 48 volt, 12 and a half amp hour battery. We're gonna install the one that you see us with most often, the 48 volt, 10 amp hour battery. We really like these straps. Uh, you've actually, I've used this so many times, but I actually like markered out the yellow and I didn't even bother changing the XT60 and that works for me. Uh, we'll leave a link for everything that you see here in the description below. And don't forget, you're not isolated to that battery. If you want a bigger battery, then go ahead and go to it. Just make sure that you have XT60 connections when you do it. Uh, this is the male slash female version. So for the wires, it's female, male for the connector. And typically you'll see them in their yellow. The cradle for this battery will have the connection and it will match at the connector pins right here inside the battery. Regardless, like I said, you're not isolated to our recommended battery. You can get any battery that you want. Just make sure that the voltage rating is 48 to match your system and that you have an ability to connect to the dual battery discharge balancer kit with the XT60 connectors. YouTube is our primary, so give us a like and subscribe. E-Bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida, if you're in the area, get in the group, make an event, go for a ride, share some pictures, share your favorite place to go. What is your destination ride in the area? Show us some pictures of the trails. Just get in there and make friends with your local e-bike riders. It's a big area. All right, here we go. So we have our kit, here are our cables. These are the genu uh, general cables that we use across all of the kits. And then here's the balancer. This is a bullet connection intersect, so that's where we're gonna go with this. So I'm going to go ahead and install this 20 amp. We know that that's the way to go. The current limit on this controller is 15 amps. So we are going to go ahead and intersect this with bullet connectors. And then I'm feeling confident that there's enough room to get this balancer into the compartment and then get it closed up as well. Running in into the battery is a battery connection, so I'm gonna plug in my red wire for that. So always be careful to grab these things right where they're connected. Uh, they're not the best. So now this is controller out. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, for this application, I noticed that my shroud for my bullet connector on this one is missing. Uh, the kit does come with one. I remember I had to make a cut and I snipped this accidentally. Either way, I'm gonna wrap these with some electrical tape. So for this application, which I will remove later on, I'm not gonna do it, but please know that the shrouds are on the bullet, connect bullet connectors. However, it's not bad practice to go ahead and secure all of this with some electrical tape. So I'm gonna run my XT60 up through the connection here. Uh, something to think about is this connector can be punched on this side if you want to make it wider and then open up that port. Uh, it's meant for the weatherproofing, which we understand, um, and most of the time, unless you're dumping this in just mud puddles, you should be fine because there's openings here on the plate that are pretty much, uh, they nullify whatever weatherproof factor this brings, so it's more of a security thing. For this application, we're not gonna punch it, but you might wanna just hollow out some of the other side and then run it in there with the cable. For us, we're just gonna go ahead and stick it in. All this is is the cable for the uh, second battery. There we go, that'll do it. What I can do right now is check this factory battery and make sure everything's running. Got to turn, make sure and turn the key on. Perfect. We know that's running. Now the question is where to run this cable is, are you gonna go back rack? Are you gonna go up top? Um, I thought of a creative place perhaps over here and I might try that. I'm just kind of run it through this, can, this strap right here, use what's existing as to hold it in and then lay the bag right here. So I'll use this post as the end connection for the Velcro on the bag and then I'll use the body to help secure it like this. Well, never mind to that. We like the idea of this application. And dang, um, I snipped these ends uh, when I got them and did that so that it would fit the seat post for the electric. So let's see. What we're gonna do now? Okay, let's do. Go ahead and turn it on. So we're live. There we go. That's what we wanted. All right, we know we have a good connection on both ends.
And like I said, you don't have to, you don't have to isolate yourself to this battery. If you want to do something like this, do it. If you want to do two somethings like this, that's possible too. Check out some of our other videos and there are other products on the market that'll allow you to do it as well. Uh, the test is good, so we're pretty happy about that. So we have added with the electric all-wheel dual battery discharge balancer another 10 amp hours to this bike. So what I'm gonna do is run this down for you with just the factory. So we do 48 volts times 12.5 amp hours equals 600 watt hours, and then we're gonna divide that by 25, and that is the mica total constant, which says it's 25 watt hours per mile in general. So at 20 miles per hour, 25 watt hours per mile, this bike is gonna go 24 miles before it conks out. Now we added an extra 10 amp hours. So with the 24 miles, let's do the, let's check the 10 amp hours. So 48, so actually one, 10 plus 12.5 equals 22.5. Times 48 volts equals 1,080 watt hours divided by 25 watt hours per mile yields 43.2 miles. Uh, I would say that's pretty good. Not disappointed with that. Doubled the big digits, and that's probably applicable for me. So I would look at this as a 40 mile bike at 20 miles an hour throttle only, and I'm at 225. I did take a long distance high speed ride with the Fast Friday group out of the St. Pete float fleet, which was awesome. I took a Hemiway cruiser and ran that thing at 22 miles an hour, 26 max when we had stretches and we did a 30 mile stretch. I came back with one bar. I was pretty happy about that. The other guys were on Surons and Talarias, and they had unicycles, and I was way out of my league, but we put on a dual battery discharge balancer and we got it done. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. YouTube is our primary. Check out our Facebook page. The Facebook group, E-Bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. Get in there, make an event, and get out there and ride with your friends in the local area. If you're local to Tampa Bay, we have Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, primary is youtube and we also have a threads account check out our facebook reels as well electricallwheel.com we'll talk to you next time